what is up what is up everyone well how y'all doing what is going on good morning good afternoon I don't, maybe it's evening time i would actually i would love real quick before we get into this video something i'm just curious about when do you watch the video so i would love for you to guys to drop a comment down below and let me know kind of what time it is like you know make sure you put eastern or central or pacific time or mountain time or I don't know what kind of time, but some kind of time. Let me know when you're watching this video. I would love to know. I'm just just a complete curiosity thing, right? But that being said, I am here at my house. We are going to be doing uh, a little bit of a different video today. It's not going to be real long, so I appreciate you guys hanging out. But first, we're starting off right here in my garage. And normally I wouldn't take people in my garage, but we're kind of stuck here at the house today. Needed a video, and I'm just going to just get real with you guys on some things that I've got going on in here in my garage and some things that... I'm kind of messing with. We're going to run down the marina. I'll show you some cool stuff down there. But yes, in my garage, it is a mess. It is a mess. Yes, it is needing some major organization. Okay. But that's what we're doing, actually. Look at all these crankbaits, guys. So I went through all my tackle recently that was in like tubs and bags and just stuff like, like this. Like this box right here. It hasn't been quite organized yet. And it is like literally, it's kind of like a catch-all. You know, I go on the road and... You're digging and emptying boxes out all the time and doing different things. And stuff just ends up. Yeah, like a bandit crankbait and a bandito bug. That's kind of kind of crazy, huh? Bandit and bandito all hooked up together. Having some little lures things going on. I don't know what the heck they were doing in there. All right. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. An old antique. Yes, it is. I'm going to put that over there. But, guys, so what I did is I took all of these crankbaits that were in all these various boxes and, and hung them up on these cardboard boxes here just so I can see them. And uh, and getting ready. Look at that live target right there. That thing's pretty sweet, huh? It's a crawdad crankbait, live target. Pretty. That's actually really legit. I'm glad I found that. And oh yeah, look at that one. That's pretty cool. What else we got over here? What else? Do we have spinner baits? Yeah, so basically I just make little piles. You can hang them on these cardboard boxes. These little oil boxes work really good. Oh yeah, look at that little dude right there. Oh yeah, who can guess what that one is? Right there, who can guess what that is? That's a good little square bill right there. Ooh, you wanna talk about good? You wanna talk about valuable? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that wiggle wart right there, guys. That's an original wiggle wart. Oh, it is. That is worth some dollar bills, my friends. So what we're gonna do is Lure Lock sent me a bunch of tackle boxes that I have right here. Really cool stuff, perfect deal, different sizes. Oh yeah, check this thing out. Big old triple decker from Lure Lock. That's pretty cool, huh? You can put a lot of stuff in there. And we got the little boxes, which work great for all of your little things like weights and hooks and swivels. You know, just little things like that. This would be great for backpacks as well. So guys, that's it right there. We're going to organize all of these things in those little lock boxes here real soon. But that's what today's video is not about. It's not about me rigging all that up, okay? I was just kind of letting you know what I'm going to be doing. But today's video is all about kind of hanging out with you guys. And so what I want to do is take you guys down to the marina. Let's just hang out for a little bit, kind of tell you what's going on, what the next month, month and a half kind of entails as far as videos tournaments if we're gonna have any tournaments i really don't know what's going on so let's take the old easy go for a little ride look at this thing dude we got it spiffed out with some 18 inch wheels custom uh-huh oh yeah oh yeah fully electric baby put on the marina oh yeah oh yeah oh we need the key we've got the key all right Oh yeah, all right. The marina is literally just down the street. So guys, tell me what you have been doing. How many of you guys have been fishing? You know, I know a lot of states closed their boat ramps. I know a lot of places also, you know, were kind of really looking down upon getting outside and doing some fishing. They really just wanted you cooped up in your house. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, it just seems, seems pretty, awful to me to be honest with you so I didn't get a chance to get out and do a ton of fishing but we have done a fair amount mostly salt water of course you've been watching some of the videos you've been concentrating on shooting some good stuff for vice versa and the new boat oh yeah 
So guys, here's what I was thinking. I wanted to tell you that Roland Martin's Marina is officially open. Now we are obviously practicing safe distance laws and rules with all of our business here, the restaurant, of course, and different things that we've got going on, but we are open. So if you are in the state of Florida and you can uh, get over here to enjoy some of this great fishing that we've got going on, we would love to have you. We would love to have you. So we're driving up here to the marina now. I'll show you guys around. That right there is our tournament weigh-in board right there. That's where we have all of our tournaments and all the boats park right out there on the canal and they weigh their fish in. Yeah, so all the bass boats park right there. We have these tanks full. We have air stones in here. And they anglers put their bags of fish all alive. And we walk up on this little stage right here. We have a scale and some stuff hanging out right here. And uh, they weigh them. And then they write down their their names and their weight on this tournament board right here. And then right through here is our galley. This is our little restaurant. And uh, things are still kind of blockaded off. You can see where when we were doing to-go orders, we had the, the six foot roll here. These are the little X marks of spots on the concrete. And uh, so that's what we're doing still for the to-go orders. But we are open inside there. Limited seating, of course. And let me say this. Here's the great thing about uh, coming down here and fishing right now. Number one, the fishing's really good. Number two, the lake's in a little bit of a drawdown. Okay, so the lake is low. So you gotta be careful. So it's a great time to hire a guide. And let me tell you something, our guides, they haven't been real busy and they're eager to get out there. They wanna go fishing just as bad as you do. And so you could call the marina here, you could hire one of our guides and go out and have literally a fishing trip of a lifetime or bring your boat down and hire a guide one day and get, get the lay of the land. So that's, uh, that's a good thing to do. Let's go inside the store. I'll show you around in here, it's pretty cool. All right, this is our main marina store right here. We sell clothing, of course, hats. I've got some SMC hats over there, by the way. Shirts, performance shirts. Got a lot of AFCO stuff. Check this out. And we have our little logo on the Roller Martin Marina logo right there on these AFCO shirts, which is pretty cool. So hats, flip-flops, and sandals, and shorts, sunglasses even an alligator that's right a big gigantic alligator look at this thing i'm backing up it's a full mount alligator right here that thing is big going around a big stump pretty crazy huh so we get really good mounts in here this is a duck that i shot 1985 thanksgiving florida mallard my dad actually mounted it for me it was like my first duck so that is my duck i shot in 1985 and then this scraggly thing I think looks scary I don't even know what it is like I, I don't really have a story for that particular one okay but I do have a story for this one right here coming up how about that sound effect oh yeah check out this big bass right here guys that was caught by Paul Colbert in 1975 on Lake Yo Jo in Honduras Honduras. I didn't even know they had bass in Honduras, okay? That's a 10 pounder caught by my grandfather in Honduras. Now here's a big striped bass that my dad caught years ago. That thing is pretty cool, guys. That's a big striped bass. I think he caught that like up in Maryland area. Like off the, I think he was fishing off the beach with like long surf rods and stuff. That yeah, was kind of a kind of a crazy deal. We had like a we had like a black and white photo of him like dragging it through the surf. It was a really cool photo. I remember that as a kid, but I don't know where that photo is. So here's some other mounts over here. I hope you guys are liking this. This kind of actually, I just really didn't plan on showing you guys the mounts, but kind of cool, I think. Oh, look at this guys. Who can guess what these are? Those are pheasants right there and they're fighting. Yeah, I don't know what they're fighting over, but they're fighting. And it looks like the top one's kicking the bottom one's butt. I didn't shoot those. I think my dad did, obviously, and there's a a tag on the foot which is kind of cool okay there's a turkey i did shoot that it's the cape of a turkey and here's uh some more bass these are just generic ones here i don't think anything crazy all right check this one out okay check this one out right here it's all up in the bad lighting bad lighting right there but that is caught by pops check out where lake zaza lake zaza in cuba 
Lake Zaza in Cuba. So we got a bass from Honduras and we have a 10 pounder from Cuba. No, yeah, 10 pounds, seven ounces. That's crazy. We need to go to Cuba. I think that's what we need to do. We gotta go to Cuba and catch some bass. I didn't even know. Raymond, yeah. Raymond, you ever gone bass fishing in Cuba? No, but they, they fish with yo-yos. What? <laughs> it's, a, it's a line. Yeah. Or a hand, hand line? Yeah. And they put uh, a beer can or Pepsi can in it, and they'll throw it off bridges. They'll put three or four. When they hear that can rattling, they'll run to the other one. Really? Yeah. Man. He knows all about it. <laughs> well, I'm just looking. I've heard stories. They're, they're, that one's from Honduras, and that other one over there is from, from Cuba. So, huh, I had no idea. All right, so check this thing out. A peacock bass. That's right, a giant peacock bass. That being said, 25 pound peacock bass caught by my mother. That's right, my mom caught that in Brazil. She caught that in Brazil. That's pretty cool. And oh, let me show you the one that I caught in Brazil the next year. Check that one out, guys. That is the one that I caught and it weighed 24 pounds and I caught that in Brazil. Oh yeah, crazy deal, crazy deal. So let me tell you a story on that peacock bass right there. I was throwing a top water lure and we're putting this like little creek and I throw this top water, it's like a big wood chopper thing with big blades, I'm ripping it, choosh, 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 and kaboom, I'm talking giant, giant explosion. That thing hits, I'm fighting, and the rod breaks. The rod explodes. I got the thing on 80 pound braid with like half of the rod dangling down, but I ended up landing that fish, 24 pounds. And when I got it in the net, or when the guy netted it, I actually thought it might be like a 30 pounder. I mean, I just wasn't used to seeing a peacock that big, of course, and uh, crazy, crazy deal. So. We got the fish in, biggest peacock for me ever. Uh, here's one, check this thing out, oh yeah. Oh yeah, alligator gar, that's a big one right there. My dad caught that in 1988 in Mobile Bay, Alabama. I didn't even know they had those things in Mobile Bay, Alabama. So guys, check out this giant tarpon. It's like a 200 pound tarpon my dad caught, unofficial, Georgia state record. They didn't kill the fish, they did length and girth on it. And then we've got tons of other things in here. Just tons of other things. We've got other mounts all over, really cool stuff. Yeah, awesome. So guys, if you make it back down to our marina or if you come down for the first time, you can check out some of these mounts. There's plenty more in there. Now, I told you a minute ago, I'm not sure about tournaments. You know, they just rescheduled or postponed the tournament that we had in May, into May, and they're gonna push that I think to like October time frame. So right now it's looking like September and October and November is gonna be super, super busy with tournaments, like all over. So different because I'm not used to fishing in the fall as much. Like in the fall, usually we're off. And so fall is not a big time for me and fishing. I'm here in Florida fishing obviously. So I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to the challenge of trying to figure out these fish in the fall. Typically in the fall, it's, you know, it's about finding bait. It's, it's, it's fish that are grouped up, they're feeding on shad. So I like it, you know, I like it. It's gonna be some offshore stuff and some bait oriented stuff and swim baits and crank baits and pan optics. Oh yeah, cannot wait, cannot wait. So guys, if y'all come down, you can enjoy lunch and dinner here at the Tiki Bar. We've got all the tables separated like six feet apart. So we're like, I don't know, 25% capacity or so, but it's a nice place to come relax after a day of fishing and uh, have some great food. What's up, dude? This is our bird that we feed all of the, the shiners to, dead shiners and little minnows and stuff. Let's go see if we can get a little fish for him. You hungry? You hungry, buddy? You hungry? You want something? Go get you something. Here. Here. Get him. Yeah. You like me now, don't you? Very cool. Very cool. All right. We'll see you later. Well, guys, that is it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully, um, hopefully the video wasn't too boring. I, I Like I said, I, I really didn't know what to expect. I just wanted to bring you up here and show you the marina a little bit. And those, uh, those mounts were kind of cool. I kind of forgot about a couple of those, especially... The one from Honduras has kind of blown my mind. I actually, I actually thought that was caught in Cuba. So maybe, has anybody ever been to Honduras and caught a bass? How about that? Or Cuba? Let's check it out. Let me know. So guys, thanks for hanging out. And uh, we will see you later. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye. -o.